Welcome to Naresh Technologies. I am Bangaraju and in this video, uh, I want to demonstrate about delegates. So, what are these delegates and why do we use this and delegates means? A delegate uh, means a standard definition about this particular delegate says it is a type safe function pointer. In a sense, the delegate is going to hold the reference of a method and it is going to call the method for execution. A delegate holds the reference of a method and then calls the method for execution. It is going to call the method for execution basically. So, a delegate holds the reference of a method and then calls the method for execution. So, that is what a delegate is. Actually, in C sharp, we can call methods in two ways. One, by using the instance of the class if it is a non-static method and by using the name of the class if it is a static method. So, this is what you might be doing till now for calling the methods. If the method is non-static, you will create the instance of the class and call the method. If the method is static, we are going to call it by using the class name. And the second way how you can call a method is by using a delegate. So, with the help of a delegate, we can call the method. So, first let us understand how to call the methods by using a delegate. In the latter videos, we will just understand what is the advantage of calling methods by using the delegate. Okay? And in this class, I want to define a set of methods. So, first public void, a simple method called as addnums int a, int b. They are taking two parameters and inside of this I am just writing console dot write line a plus b and next one more method public static string say hello string str or string name return hello plus name. So, these are the two methods what I am just defining in my class now. And if you want to call these methods now, if you want to call these methods now, how do you call the first approach of calling the method? To call this method, you require the instance of the class. So, let us create the instance of the class first. So, program class instance program p is equals to new program program p is equals to new program okay creating the instance of the program class and after creating the instance of the program class we are going to call the method p dot add nums 100 and some value next the second method is say hello and remember say hello is a static method. So, we are going to call it by using the name of the appropriate class. So, string str is equals to program dot say hello calling the method and this method you record pass a string as a parameter some name here and then console dot write line str. console dot red line. Yeah, we got the result. So, this is how you are calling the methods till now. You might be out calling the methods till now like this, but we can call these methods by using delegates. So, how to call a method by using a delegate? Okay, let us see. First, to call a method by using a delegate, we have three steps. The first step is we need to define a delegate. Define a delegate. So, how to define a delegate? Modifiers delegate a void or type and then name and parameter list. A parameter list. So, this is how you are going to define a delegate. 
So, if you watch this keenly, the statement looks very much similar to a method signature. How do you define a method? It looks exactly similar, but an extra word what we are using is delegate. Otherwise, a method signature and a delegate will look exactly same only. Okay? So, now you need to define a delegate. Now, just have a look. I want to call this method by using a delegate. If you want to call this method by using a delegate, so what you are going to do is, see first, you are going to use a delegate keyword here and reminding everything is same, change the name of this particular method. Method name, delegate name will not be same. So, give some name to the appropriate delegate. So, I want to name it as add delegate, add delegate and then add it with a semicolon. So, if you notice that this is our method signature and this is how our delegate looks like. So, both are looking exactly same, but here we have a delegate keyword and here we are going to have a different name. And the two important points to remember while defining a delegate for calling a method. Point number one, the return type of the delegate should exactly be same as the return type of the method. You see here, the method return type is void. So, delegate return type is also void. And the second point, the parameters of the delegate should exactly be the same type of parameters to your method. Here, the method is taking two integers and here the delegate is also taking two integers. See, these names A and B are not important. You can give any name you want. That is not a problem at all. Here I am using X and here I am using Y. So, the point is the int should be same. The integer what I am using here and what I am using should be same. Okay. So, these are the two important things what to remember. First one is the return type of the delegate should exactly match with the return type of the method and the parameter types of the delegate should exactly match with the parameter types of the method. Okay? Now, let us understand how to define a delegate for the second one, copy. I want to define a delegate, okay? public, no need to use a static because the method is static, we never use static on a delegate, delegate, string and some name for this particular delegate, let us call it as say delegate and string, I said you name, you give anything here that does not matter, string or not is only the point to notice there, str, something and you see there, the return type of the delegate is string because the methods return type is string, the parameter type of the delegate is string because the methods parameters also string. So, like this, the delegate signature is going to match with the method signature. Signature in the sense return types as well as parameter types of your delegate are going to exactly match with the return types and parameter types of the method. They should match. So, that is the reason why, that is the reason why we say a delegate is a type safe function pointer. Basically, the delegate signature matches with the method signature. Everything is going to match the type safe. Why? Because both are having exactly the same thing. So, this is the first thing what you are required to do. Come on, let us define these delegates. See, remember a delegate is a type, a delegate is a type. What is the type? A class is a type, a structure is a type, an interface is a type, all these are user defined types. Generally, what is a class means? What we answer? A class is a user defined type, a structure is a user defined type, an interface is a user defined type, same as that delegate is also a user defined type. Okay, And uh, generally, if we understand the difference between class and structure, the main difference between class and structure is class is a reference type, structure is a value type. Same way, a delegate is also a reference type. And uh, very important point to remember is, in C sharp, in C sharp, we generally define types under namespaces. So, every type is defined under a namespace. So, if you are working with Visual Studio, every class you define will be under namespace. Same way, a structure, interface, whatever you are doing, there, everything is going to be defined under a namespace. Why? Types are going to be defined under namespaces and a namespace is a logical container of types. And because the namespace is a logical container of types, we are going to define all the types inside the namespace. So, now, if the question arises where I should define the delegate, the answer is it should be defined under a namespace. Come on, I am going to put it here. Can't I define this inside a class? Yes, you can. 
you can define it inside a class also it becomes a nested type a type inside a type but generally not advised you better define it under namespace but it is still possible to define a delegate inside a class so this is the first step what is the first step defining a delegate the first step is defining a delegate fine second step the second step is instantiating the delegate what is that instantiating the delegate actually in the process of instantiation we will create the instance of a delegate why delegate is a reference type that's what i'm telling you you're going to create the instance of the delegate and at the time of creating of the delegate you are required to pass the method name as a parameter to the delegate so what you're going to do see here here i call the method by using the instance of the class but now our plan is to call by using the delegate so what to do just see here we need to create a delegate now instance of the delegate which delegate add delegate add delegate ad is equals to new add delegate creating the instance and when you are creating the instance you notice the intelligence in the intelligence it is going to show you the information what information the delegate you need to pass a method as a parameter for it the target method should have a parameter here. What is it? For the delegate, you are going to pass a method as a parameter, a target parameter. And the method should be void and the method should take two integers. Any method, not like add nums here, any method that is going to match with these parameters can be passed as a parameter for the delegate now. And remember, the target method should be non-value returning and should take two integers as a parameter and our add nums is going to match with this. So, let us pass our method name here. But an important thing to remember, when I am typing add nums is not coming in the list here. Intelligence, see when you are writing the code, intelligence should show you everything. If intelligence is not showing you, something is wrong there. So, why the intelligence is not showing my method name there? The reason is, your method is a non-static method. And right now, you are creating the instance of the delegate in the static block. And the very important rule is a non-static member of a class can never be accessed from a static block directly. You can access it only by using instance of the class. So, how to call it now? P dot add nums. This is how you should write here. Directly, we cannot write add nums. So, what happens now? The address, the address of the method is given to the delegate. Why? Delegate holds the reference or the address of a method. So, now this address goes to the delegate. Now, same way let us do the second one also. What is the second thing? Uh, say delegate ESD is equals to new say delegate. Okay, now you just require to pass a target method and the target method should have a string input and a string output. String input, string output. And remember, our say hello method matches with the signature now. And say hello is a static method. Static to static, directly we can access it. Generally, because you are within the class, I can directly call the method here. How? Say hello. Because static members can be directly accessed under other static blocks within the class. But outside the class, we should prefix with the class name. Okay? So, I am generally using the class name, but not required. Program dot say hello program dot say hello is how you are going to do it. So, this is the second step and this second step is what we call as instantiating the delegate. The second step is instantiating the delegate. First step is defining a delegate and the second step is instantiating the delegate. So, how do we instantiate? Instantiating is a process of creating the instance of the delegate and in the process, you are required to pass the method name as a parameter to the delegate constructor. You are going to pass the method name as a parameter to the delegate constructor. So, this is the process how you are going to perform the instantiation. Finally, the third step. What is the third step? Step 3. What is it is? Now, call the delegate by passing required parameter values so that internally the method which is bound with the 
delegate gets executed. So, what you are required to do? You are now going to call the delegate by passing the required parameter value so that internally the method which is bound with the delegate gets executed. Let us see how to do it. Now, I want to call the method, which method add nums, but we are not going to call the method directly here. What we are going to do is we are going to call the delegate. How to call the delegate ad? Actually, you can call off directly ad of. See there, when you just say ad of, it is just asking you the parameter values and the return type, everything it is telling you here. So, we can straight away call this now. We can straight away call this now, like ad of some 100, 50. We can call like this. And same as this, you come here. How do you call? String str is equals to sd of sd of pass the parameter value. What is it? Some name. Actually, whenever you call this internally, the method is going to execute, not the delegate. Delegate does not have any body. Delegate is a pointer to a method. So, whenever you are just trying to call the delegate, it will execute the method. The result comes to str and prints. You will get the same result what we got earlier. Do not expect any different output. But earlier we called it straight away and now we are calling it by using a delegate. Same answer, same output. And remember, remember, you can also try like this. What is it? dot invoke what is it under this delegate we have a method called invoke. So, it provides you a method called as invoke here and this is automatically generated for us this is automatically generated and you see there this invoke this invoke what you have here is taking two parameters int x and y it is the same thing 100 comma 50 means you can call it as a method now you can call it as a method what is the method name? invoke is the method name. Invoke is the method name what we have here. And here also sd dot we will get the method invoke string str passing the name. So, like this also we can just call any of the two ways we can just call directly we can just call the delegate or the second option is we can just use the method called as invoke that comes to you inside the delegate and call the things. And once you pass it automatically the execution takes place. We are, will see the same output now also. So, this is the process how you are going to call a method by using the delegate. Okay? Thank you for watching the video. For more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel Naresh IT.